Hello and welcome back to the PPD YouTube channel folks. My name is Clyde Lindsay and I'm from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for joining us for another exciting Friday edition of Twinkle Tips Friday. We hope that you've had a fantastic week and that you are about ready to enjoy a great weekend. And we're returning, well actually we're not returning, we're <laughs> Robert and I are actually at the Florida Mega Mini right now as we speak. So I pre-recorded this video just so you guys have a part two, part two follow-up for last week's video which was on auto sequencing and X-Lights. Let's go ahead and continue the project. All right, everybody. So uh, the the last week's video, if you didn't see it, I'll link it up here. Is part one, and what we talked about was easier ways to kind of get effects to do things for us without us really having to do very much. Uh, a lot of the effects that are in X lights, not a lot of them, but um, a number of the effects that are in X lights certainly do have some options that allow you to, well, that allow X lights to read the waveform and do different things with sequencing. So today I want to follow up. This is part two. And to get into it, the, the next effect that we're going to use, and we're going to spend the entire time talking about the, the next effect, which is the VU meter. I'm just going to grab it from up above there, drag it down, and I'm going to stretch it out. Now, the first thing you're going to notice is a couple things. Number one, there are multiple colors selected here, red, blue, and green. And you can see it's moving rather quickly. The, the one thing about VU meter that you're going to want to do is take the time to play with the bars and adjust them because if you're going for a very particular or specific look using the waveform part of the VU meter, the default setting for the for the VU meter, you're going to want to, let's scroll in here, get a little bit, bit scrolled in, and you're going to want to pace out what you have on the screen versus the number of bars because here if you add more bars look what happens to the sequence as you start to play it so we can play it and it looks like it's going much slower but the only difference is, is we've added more bars or more area for the VU meter to look at and say oh how much of it do you want me to squeeze onto the preview and that's what X lights is doing here in this case so the lower the number the faster it's going to go and obviously the default is six but if, if you go like maybe eight or nine maybe this is going to be a good fit for you so it looks to me like like right about nine that bars looks pretty good you can adjust it to whatever it is that you need it to be it's not uh, written in stone or there's any specific way that you have to uh, set up that waveform to run at the number of bars now let's go in and look at one other thing that the view meter has that you can usually change. Sometimes you can't change things like the sensitivity here. You can't change it on the view meter. If you remember last week's video, we talked about the uh, music effect and how it had a sensitivity. In the view meter, sometimes the sensitivity isn't active. It's inactive and you can't make changes to it. And the same thing goes for the gain slider. But if they are active, look at what you can do with them. Whenever you add a little bit of gain or take it away, maybe add a couple more bars, you could take and add a little bit more gain to it, and maybe you could slide it around. This is just something for you to play with. I told you that x lights can do some auto-sequencing. As, as you can see, as I said last week, there's going to need to be some input from you in order to make it become a little bit more user-friendly for the exact sections of the song that you're working on. So let's go ahead. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reset the effect. This is how you reset effect. Delete the effect. Click on any other effect. Any, It doesn't matter. Here's the on effect. Here's the off. Then go back and grab the VU meter. And now it's back to its default settings. That's how you reset an effect. Because you clicked off of it and clicked on. And actually it deleted the other one so that it didn't carry the memory forward. The next section of the VU meter that I want to share with you is... Uh, the frame waveform. Now the frame waveform is a lot of fun. This was a, a huge favorite ask that I had in for the developers. So what you see here is this is an individual frame 
individually what the frame looks like. You can add more bars to it, and this makes it a lot of fun if you're trying to do some things, particularly in Halloween songs. So there's a little secret hint for sequencing, I guess I can tell you. One of my next favorite things about the view meter is and this is something people ask for constantly and you have to whenever you when you're on the frame waveform and or or you get you open up x lights uh to the view meter effect you have to actually scroll up and there's options up here of all the all the parts of the view meter that are available i think this is this the spectrogram is the one thing that many people are most interested in they like to see the volume bars or they like to see um they like to see the EQ poles bouncing. If we go ahead and play this, you know, it really does, especially with this background MP3, which by the way, I, ha I, I linked it in the last video. Uh, you, can, you can see that there's a lot of bounce to it. So it depends on the music or the MP3 that you're working with. If yours has this, this kind of staccato track that goes across it, uh, this is a lot of fun to play with. And it really shows, and it's really interesting. So. And remember, you're not reserved to being able to put this on one specific model. You can put this on, uh, you don't have to reserve yourself to using this on uh, the individual uh, matrix panels or mega trees. You can also put it on, let's say, mini trees or, uh, you know, other things. There's a little bit of fun that you can have with using the spectrogram. Now, the other thing about spectrogram is peak. Now, what Spectrogram Peak does, and I'll, I'll change this blue because you might not be able to see it really well. Now you can see that the Spectrogram, what it does with the peak level, is it takes the color at the very end, the last color, and it remembers the peak or the highest height that that VU meter bounced up those, those uh, Spectrograms up to. So it remembers that highest height, and when it does, it allows it to then slowly drop down. Now you'll see that function over here. See how it says slow downfalls? If we uncheck that, you can see that they just kind of stay where they're at until something comes along and kicks them up a little bit higher the next time. So that's a, that's an interesting addition uh, that I think a lot of people will want to play with. It it plays differently for different songs, and obviously it depends on the the soundtrack. And if you have a louder soundtrack, now notice in the music where you have a little bit thicker. It's a little thicker here versus the soundtrack over here where it's a little bit thinner. You can tell by just zooming out and looking at the wide screen here that this section's a little more quiet. This section is a little bit more loud, and this section here is, is more the twinkly uh, beginning. And then you have the twinkly at the end, too. So you can imagine that these auto magic effects, these auto sequencings, can really be helpful in different areas of the song, and they can act differently, but you can change it up and really have a lot of fun with doing this stuff. What other uh, are, what are my other favorites whenever it comes to uh, the VU meter? If we click on uh, the spectrogram line, this is actually another one of my favorites. This is the one I asked Keith to make, and uh, I didn't get it exactly right. I was able to move the sensitivity there. I think it's uh, 70 is the sensitivity. But if we level out the number of bars, look what happens. You get a little bit of fun playing with some of these different uh, movements. And this is all automatically created. You're not doing any work as far as it's creating. It's just reading the waveform and it's telegraphing what it can do. So there's a lot of fun that you can have with the spectrogram line. And as I said before, with the, uh, with the waveform, that is another one that is a lot of fun, the frame waveform. They're very similar, but yet they're very different. Now, finally, the last one that I want to go through and share with you is, and again, forgive me because I can only do so much in one video without kind of giving you too much information so it's too much to overload you with. But I'll leave you with this. If we go in and we go to type and we come down to the section and we call this the level section. So wherever you see the word level, this is going to play off of the level of the music that's in the background. So if we go to um, one of my favorites is level pulse, you're going to see that it's pulsing to the level of the song. So if we play it, you can listen to it.
So you can see where the pulse, the level pulse comes in really handy and really helpful. Uh, some of the other things that you can do is you can add color curves to this so it changes over time. But one of the functions that's in level pulse is also the option to do level pulse color. And so that's a little bit of fun. If you have two different colors, three different or multiple colors selected, you can go ahead and have that play and watch it activate while it's only using those colors and it's pulsating with those colors. And you can match that along with the rest of your sequencing. Again, you're only limited by what you are willing to sit there and do to make things work with the VU meter. And again, it takes time to do this. Now the last type in the VU meter that I'm going to share with you in this video is going to be uh, along the lines of level is level jump. Now there's two level jumps. One of them is going to be jump and the other one is level jump 100. Now I like the level jump because it gives you that kind of bounce. But this gives you a clear idea of how far those bars jump up and down. So if I, if I increase this to a higher number and we play it, you're, you're going to see every time it's activated due to either the sensitivity, you see the sensitivity here, or the gain, whatever those are set at because those are available for you to adjust. And if you give it less sensitivity, there's a little bit of difference for the difference in the sensitivity. You wanna add some gain or take it away, you can do that as well. And remember, whenever you do change it, if it doesn't do something interesting, just put it back to where it was. Part of the level jump is that it listens to the music, and the more jump you give it, the longer it takes before it draws itself the whole way down. Now, the other favorite I told you that I was going to show you was level jump 100. And this is about the same, but this is more specifically going to most likely go from z from 100 down to zero between those unless you give it more bars. So I'm a fan of the level jump 100. It's not as quote unquote sensitive as the other one was, but both of them have their place and they're both a lot of fun to play with. And there you have it guys. I hope this video and the VU meter helped open you up a little bit to a little bit more of easy sequencing we'll say um, or, or auto, auto sequencing. Uh, there are probably a couple more videos that I could pull out not dealing with the VU meter in the least but that I could show you. It, would you be interested in more information like this? Let me know in the comments section down below. If you like the video this week guys please give us a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a another Twinkle Tips Friday video or any of the other videos that we put out. Usually on Tuesdays we do a Tuesday night webinar get together where you can join us and we get together, we answer questions in our Tuesday night Zoom room and we also do, sometimes we'll do webinars, sometimes we'll do open mic nights where you have a question. If you have questions and we can walk you through things or answer them for you and help you get to grips with figuring out things in the hobby. And if you appreciate the things that we do here at Pixel Pro Displays, consider becoming a PPD Sequence Club member. We do an awesome sequence each and every month just for the PPD Club members. You get a choice of three. We call it the Triple Play. And you can choose from any three different songs each month. You get a three pack of different choices to choose from. You get one song each month. So guys, have a wonderful weekend. We will look forward to seeing you next week in the next Twinkle Tip Friday video. Thank you all for joining us. Take care and goodbye for now.